The third clip here reflects poor decision making when under high pressure from the opposing team. Um, hard to see in the video here, but the ball will be played from the goalkeeper to the right back and right back immediately to the right midfield. Now, right midfield here has no option to pass the ball to no one. So instead of maybe number four coming here into the space to get the ball, maybe number three going away from the player and demand the ball. Number five could tuck in here to watch number 17 from opposing team. No other option given. Ball was played back to the right back. Um, then we have a poor decision making on his part here. He's got no other option. Again, number three could have made a run into the space here. Number five could make himself available. Maybe the goalkeeper could come up to the line, make himself available for the short pass and then clearance. Um, the right back makes a pass to the danger zone to the middle here instead of to the, down the line. You can see this right here. You got a striker forward coming to the ball with a little bit hesitant. He didn't have a clear possession of the ball. The ball gets stolen by the opposing player here. And now another situation when um, we have one player here, center back watching the ball, defensive mid watching the ball, left back watching the ball. Nobody attacks the ball here. It's a danger zone. Uh, probably possibility to shoot, which the opponent player, opposing player, um, realizes, delivers the shot, not the strongest shot, but very uncomfortable. The ball bounces off the floor. Um, the right back here keeps everybody on side. Um, now, he should think worst case scenario, if the goalie can catch the ball, I should come to the ball first, clear it to the corner, right? Uh, a little bit again, hesitant in decision making, uh, we see here number 17 um, realizing the situation start his run now this is a 50-50 ball reaction of our player was slow and the results an easy tap in for an opposing player into the net again um, poor decision making under high pressure from the opposing team We've seen a little progression in the previous two clips on the minimum pressure and the moderate pressure now on the high pressure um, uh, every one of them could be avoided uh, by a little bit quicker decision making um, better communication between the players uh, by using time and the ball traveling to scan the field and uh, make the decision where the best pass will be unfortunately uh, in this game we fail to do so.